We play and call it work. Hey there, it's Mini Wargaming or Mini Wargamer Steve and Leland here. I throw people off. <laughs> I throw people off. I change up the introduction every single time. <laughs> <laughs> and we are back to reviewing Cult Mechanicus. So this is the oh geez, the fifth video in the series yeah. at this point. And in this video, we're going to start taking a look at the Electro Priests. So there's the two options here. There's the uh, Corpuscari, or Corpuscuri, I don't know how to pronounce that. The uh, Corpuscari uh, Electro Priests and the Fulgurite. Fulgurite Electro Priests, and yeah. I'm going to try myself the Corpuscari Electro Priests. Yeah. So, yeah, okay, uh, let's, let's get into this train wreck. Uh, not, train wreck. Not spoilers. Good, good not, term. I, they're terrible. Here's the really frustrating thing. The models are phenomenal. Models are spectacular. Like this, this is the I models love right the there, models. and they are spectacular models. But you know what the biggest flaw is? They suffer from the same thing that Skatari suffer from, which is toughness three. Toughness three and no decent save. Yep. So let, let's go into that. So first off, your basic unit is ninety points for five of them. Yes. So, so expensive. Right off the bat. Eighteen points a model. Toughness yep. three. Yeah, so right, right off the bat, you're kind of getting off on the wrong foot. Uh, also, an interesting thing that I just noticed, there is no character in this unit. So no. you have no one to uh, to sort of get into challenges to try and take somebody out of combat for no. a round or so. And that's actually kind of a big deal. I'm, I'm less concerned. That is a big deal. It's, I'm less concerned with that than, than most other things. It, it just doesn't seem well thought out. It doesn't really fit into the game for what they do and what they are, and everything about them doesn't seem to fit. Okay, well, going off that, let's talk about their stat line then. Okay. So what, what's their stat line? Weapon skill 4, great. Blitz skill 3, doesn't really matter. Strength up is 3, 1 wound, initiative 3, 2 attacks, which is okay. Leadership 9, uh, no save, no armor save. Yeah, they have an invulnerable save. Um... At 18 points a model. No, I mean, we have to talk about the gear and get everything together. <laughs> so we have, for gear, we have the... Uh, I'm talking about the Fulgurite Electro Priest. Yeah, so these are the close combat ones. Uh, they have the Electro Leech Staff. So it's just a plus two strength, AP4 weapon. So they'll be striking at a strength five. Now, it does have concussive as sure. well. Um, but yeah, the Electro Leech is... It's basically, it's basically Tesla for melee here. It's uh, on any wound... Or, well, no, I guess... No, you're, you're, you're confusing someone. That's the other yeah. guys. No, the Electro Leech right here. Any wound roll to six made by... Oh, I am confusing. Yeah. All right, I am confusing. What it is, on a wound of a six, yeah. it's instant death. So that's not terrible. So we have strength five guys, two attacks base, three in the charge, with instant death on a six that are strength five, AP four. Yeah. That is not bad at all. Problem is, anything you're going to want to instant death probably is a three-up armor save anyway. Well, okay, you, if you can get a squad of five or ten of these against a mm -hmm. monstrous creature, they're going to do fine. But against anything else, they are toughness three. They have initiative three. They're going to die in droves before they, they get to attack. Yeah, getting them across the table is going to be the big, big issue. Now, uh, they do have canticles. They do have feel no pain. They do have a five plus invulnerable. But here's the thing. At toughness three, feel no pain really feels pointless to me. There's so much stuff that just says, ah, oh, we don't care about your feel so no pain. So against a mass bolter fire, you're your five plus invulnerable. Then your five plus feel no pain. You're gonna get those two saves, yeah. but you're still gonna die in droves. You're gonna die like guardsmen. Yes, very yeah. expensive guardsmen. So think of these as tweaked up, more expensive, highly expensive guardsmen in combat. Yeah, the the. No, they have more rules. They have more rules. So we're, we're not giving you the full picture yet. Um, they have siphoned vigor. Yes. Um, now this one's an interesting one because if they can completely destroy a unit in close combat, I believe it's just yeah, it's just in the assault phase. That five up does become a three up and vulnerable for main of the game, which is big, and it, it even counts if it's a sweeping advance, which is still which is still really so good. If they win a combat, they're all dead. They sweep away. You, they're all dead. You win the combat. Yeah, they they've all died. Now your five up is a three up for main of the game. That yeah. is awesome. But here's the problem with that: this is a close combat unit. But, never but before it. they actually become viable, you need to cherry pick a unit. Yes. And that's a big issue. You, you don't want your, your... And they also have Zealot, which will help you do that in a way. In the first round of combat, they're going to re-roll uh, hits, and they're not running away. And they're not running which away. Which is very important. But the point is, I don't think they're going to get a chance to not run away. I think they're just going to get smacked down pretty fast. So it, it's really unfortunate, because this, this sort of seems like it was being geared as their big close combat unit for Cult Mechanicus, but they're even less durable than Rust Dockers. 
I will take Rust Dockers over these guys any day of the week, and that's for 70 points more. Now, eight, okay, 18 points a model. If they had a, niche, a, a toughness four and an initiative four, I'll consider it. You know, I could even leave, I could even live with toughness four and initiative three. Even it's, it's the toughness I think is the okay. big concern, right? And like initiative three, most things are going to be striking before them or at the same time as them anyway. So I'm not so concerned with the initiative. I, I, I just don't think um, the, it, it points well. Amazing models. Points not well spent. 18 points a model for 5 plus a vulnerable toughness 3 model is just not going to do it. No. He's, no not gonna, he's not going to do anything in game other than die. Well, here's the big problem. In order for them to really become feasible, you need to run them in a full squad. And a full squad is 20 of these guys. Yeah, which is... No. No, that that's 360 points. Yeah, right no. There. I mean, okay. That full squad will hold the objectives. It will eventually... Okay, that squad gets out of combat and maybe has 10 left and now they have a 3 up and a vulnerable save. There is arguments that could work, but that's that's a big chunk of your army. I, I don't want to. Yeah, and when you consider how effective things like the Cataphrens or the Castellans are, it just feels like this and really falls. Again, short. this is a, this is a book with not a single transport in it. Yeah, well, that's the other thing. If they had a transport to safely get them across the table, we'd probably be looking at these completely differently. Now you can go ahead and comment below, but oh, but you can your battle brothers with um, marines and and astro military. And, and you know what? That's something we will discuss. Yeah. In, in part of this series, we are going to discuss where where the cult mechanicus fits in the grander scheme of the right. Real faction. I, I think I think having even that argument there is flawed. Having to rely on someone else's book to offshoot this. I mean, it just. I think, I, that, I think that's old old forty k thinking though. You think so? I, I, I'm I a relic. I, no, I don't want to say you're a relic. I, th I think we're we're still sort of in that weird transitory phase where we're still thinking about the old FOC, the old way armies and allies work and whatnot. Where okay. really with the I'm with not the saying you're wrong with that statement. You, it's, a, it's a very fair statement. It just personally, I, I I'm not liking it. Which is fair. Well, like, you know, what? I'm kind of on the same page as you. Okay. I I don't like the idea of having to. Rely like on I'm not going to quit the game and never play. Yeah. It's not that at all. No, it's just Necrons make me do that. Oh, I know. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, like, I don't mind allies coming in to, fill, to plug some holes, mm -hmm. but I don't like the idea of needing to take an ally to make a unit viable. If they had just stuck the Chimera in this book, my, my, my frustration with this unit, it would be a lot less. It'd still be not good, because they still got to get out of the transport. They got to take weather a weather round of shooting, then they got to charge in, and they got to hope to survive and kill yeah. stuff. Initiative three, toughness three, yeah. five plus a vulnerable, they're not going to... They're they're too fragile for what they're supposed to do. They're more expensive than Space Spring. Yeah, yeah, they, they really are. I mean, they're they're getting up to Grey Knight territory. They're, actually, they're more expensive than Grey Knight, I think, as well. Oh, 18 points a model. I think they might be. Uh, I don't. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, and to think, that's that's the close combat side of this all. Now, in, in a later video, we'll talk about some actual bonuses the formations will... will yeah, like there's going to be a discussion of formations as well. And we'll we'll revisit them to find out if our opinions really change on that one. Right. But if we're just looking at this... Just in, the page as it's in the book right now. It's underwhelming. underwhelming. It, exactly. Underwhelming it's, is It's very world. underwhelming, especially coming off of the Cataphrens and the... Yeah, uh, exactly. The, the Dominus was amazing. The, the, the Cataphrens were amazing. I want to use the word amazing. I'm very, very, very happy with yeah. them. Um, as not even a cult mechanicist player. I'm not, like, they're not so far over the top. It's like, that's cheesy. That's ridiculous. Yeah. But they're effective. And these things just don't... I don't see it. Yeah, these guys are not are not doing it. I feel like these are the type of units that... You're going to get a unit because you want to paint them up and you want to have them. But they're not going to see the table very often. Outside of like very narrative or fluffy style games. I think yeah. that's the big deal. Yeah. Um, so like I said, that's that's the Fulgurites. That's the close combat one. We also have the uh, Corpus Scari. Uh, of them. Now the big difference between the Corpus Cari and the Fulgurites is the Corpus Cari have the electrostatic gauntlets. I love the way these models look, even more so than the last one. Like this whole, if you get a chance to take a look at them, there's a little head harness they're holding and wires going to their hands and they have, I don't know, the Sith electric, 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 electric. And they've got the giant like reactor on their back. Yeah, like it's not. just, they look beautiful. <laughs> they're great, great models. models. They're great models. Um, but even here, like you look at the shooting, they essentially have two pistols. Well, not yes. two pistols. It's it's one it's one weapon. It's an assault two twin linked. Assault two twin linked. Blitz of skill uh, four. They have blitz skill four instead of weapon skill four. Yeah. They switched that route. They're other than that, their stats are identical. Yeah. Uh, they have the same Volta guys field. So they have five plus and vulnerable. Oh yeah, I forgot to add the field. Even for the other guys, also adds um, the strength four hammer of wrath. Yeah, but the odds so of you getting the charge off. 
Yeah, you'll have the strength for hammer of wrath on the initiative yeah. three guys. So you have you have that, I guess. Yeah, you might be able to soften some stuff up, but so we we have toughness three guys with a five plus invulnerable, a five plus feel no pain with a assault two uh, strength range. four weapon. Yeah, and it's a twelve inch range. So they're gonna get, if you're firing at something, they're gonna charge you next turn. Yep. Yeah. Now the whole idea with these guys, I guess, is you get them close enough to shoot and then charge in themselves. But still, I don't know why you'd really want to with this unit. Same point, same uh, 18 points. They, they're, instead of the special rule where they get, what was it called for the last one? Instead of the Siphon Vigor yeah. where they increase their involvement save to 3+. plus. Yeah, they have Shock, shock. this time around. And Shock is the Tesla. Shock is a Tesla. Shock is the Tesla where it causes the two additional hits on a roll of a 6. And, of course, they have the caveat, no snapshots on that one yeah. as well. Yeah, so only in the shooting phase. Um, I mean... I like the rule, and I, I love seeing it on uh, on some of the other uh, some of the other models. Because I mean the uh, the uh, what is it the tasers in the Skatari yep. book have the shock rule or not the shock rule, but they have their taser rule, which is the two additional hits and whatnot. Which is not bad, and there are a lot of fun in there. However, on a twelve inch a twelve inch range weapon, they're going to be assault get assaulted. Now, yeah. now their electrostatic gauntlets also give them plus strength in melee, but it's <sighs> it's not a huge deal. It's there's just, there's not enough here to... 5 plus invulnerable, 5 plus feel no pain if it's not strength 6. I mean, they're not going to they're not gonna survive. I mean, if they were a lot cheaper in points, I'm talking, yeah. if they were 9 points a model, you, I still might not even use them. If they were half the point cost, um, I might not use them. Yeah, I, I would say that these are definitely the lemons of the Codex. Yeah. is it, And it's really unfortunate because great models. Oh, great the models, best. Otherwise. The best put up um, for this. But I don't opinion. understand the pricing. Yeah. I really don't get the now, pricing. Even, even in the context of, well, you have to price for what the army is good at and what the army is bad at and what sort of thing. But you know what? The, there's no way to protect them to get them where you want them to be. There's no way to protect them. They're a glass cannon. Yep. They, they, if that, they're, they're, they're a glass tan gun. They, they're not really a cannon. Yeah, they, they cave really easily to any sort of real fire. I mean, a volley of las guns is going to take them down. Oh, absolutely. And that that's... You don't want that. If a volley of las guns is reliable enough to take down a unit of five, even ten, that's kind of scary. Like you're gonna lose these guys on Overwatch. Yeah, I f a flamer is gonna stop you from charging. A flamer is gonna wreck them. <laughs> yeah, one one flamer d three d three hits wounding on threes. threes. Uh, that's gonna wreck them. Even your five plus five plus. Yeah. I mean, that's not even talking about a heavy flamer. Yeah, wounding on twos like goodbye squad. Yeah, no, point. it's just. No, I it's, don't like them. These guys are too reliant on no. getting both their feeling low pain and their invulnerable yeah. state. But with how easy it is to do that. It feels like they're 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 paying a point cost for the two saves. Which let's, let's be honest, getting two saves, we're not trying to undermine that. That is amazing. Two saves is that amazing. Is. It's the fact that they're toughness three, the shooters are really short range, yeah. and the combat guys are really low initiative. You know, let's compare these guys to a, ne a basic Necron warrior. Okay. A basic Necron warrior. Sure. How many points? Um, a Necron Warrior is 13 points. He is uh, 5 points cheaper. He has plus 1 toughness. Um, his reanimation uh, would be the same, not into the curious. It would be 5 plus still no pain. A 4 up and uh, four armor, armor save. save instead of a 5 plus and vulnerable. A uh, 24 inch range weapon? 24 inch range weapon with ghosts. Auto wounds and auto glance on a 6. It's rapid fire. Um, they have leadership 10. They don't have zealot. Um, but at leadership 10, it's yeah. not really a huge thing. But that, that's kind of the point I'm trying to get Five across. Five points so, cheaper. Five Necron. points cheaper, and look at how much better yeah. a Necron Warrior is. Yeah. And that, to me, is a big problem. That goes that goes beyond paying a premium for a unit that sort of plugs a deficiency in the army. Yeah. Now, if they were priced similar to a Necron Warrior, and then you factor in the deficiency, like the, the deficiency plugging effect and whatnot, and premium you're paying, all right, I would understand it a little bit more. I still wouldn't call them good. I don't think they're but, worth a Necro Warrior. Um, no, they're not. Absolutely so they're not. Necro Warrior is thirteen. Yeah. Um, I would say charge ten for this guy. And that, but that's part of the problem, right? They are so grossly overcosted yeah. for for what they can do, and that goes for both the the Corpuscari and the Fulgurites. Not seeing it. Um, and and the fact that you need to run them in numbers for them to be effective, even remotely effective, is it's just wrong. Yeah, not seeing it. Like, I mean, okay, this is unplay. Ours in the studio here. They're just the shrink wrap's still on. Like we haven't played with them yet. Yeah, we haven't played. So, I've, I've <laughs> built two units of the Fulgurites. I'm going to build two units of the Corpus Gari. Um, well, I'm saying this is, this is untested, but I, I'm not seeing it. I think this is one of those one of those units that we're gonna we're gonna see our predictions come kind of true yeah. on this. Yeah. Uh, again, we can look I at think the we, formations. We play enough games to know. 
Yeah, no, maybe when we, maybe not when we start reviewing the formations, maybe our opinion will change. Fingers crossed, maybe it changes, maybe but it doesn't. I don't from know. what I've looked at from the formations, I don't see it happening. No. I, I really don't. And it's it's disappointing. I hate to see good models go unused, but that's what's going to happen with these guys. Yeah. And a lot of it comes down to one or two problems that could be tweaked. Either give them toughness four or give them a more reliable save. I think it's toughness four and initiative four at their point cost. Fair enough. Or or drop their points down drastically. Fair enough. Like, I wasn't even looking at the point cost. I was just thinking you need to adjust one or two of well, the Well, see, stats. the thing about the, the Necron, um, feel no pain, the reanimation protocol, you're always going to get it unless it's strength eight or higher, it is negative one. Yeah. Uh, these guys, if it's strength six, they're not getting it. They're not getting the film pain. So, I mean, it, 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 you can't even compare yeah. apples for apples here because it's not. But that's kind of the point I was trying to get at yeah. as well. Like, the, the, you compare it to the basic Necron Warrior, and these guys, are, like, it, it really showcases the deficiency. Now, these let, let, let's be fair here. Let's, let's, the Necron Warrior is probably under point. It, prob well. it probably is. He probably is. But, but <laughs> he it definitely is. That, that's not really the point we were trying to get yeah. across, though, right? Yeah. It's, and I, I admit, I'm using a bit of an extreme example. Like sure. this one, right? Like, you, you can compare it to, say, a regular Sister of Battle or one of the current Space Marines. So before the new book has been released, you can look at one of the current Space Marines, but you still get that points deficiency. It's You look at it, and it's like, okay, amazing model. I'm disappointed. Yeah. I want to love these guys. I do, too. And, I mean, these go beyond uh, these goes beyond the Rust Talkers. Like, I remember when we were discussing the Rust Talkers and Infiltrators uh, just around the office, and you were, Great really, models. you were really sold on them. No. But you know what? At least you can make the Rust Talkers work. They're shock units. They can get in. They can cause a lot of damage. But you gotta try. You gotta really gotta you try. You gotta try. <laughs> With the Fulgurites or the Corpuscari, though, even if you really tried, I, I have a hard time seeing them perform. Okay, so you can take 16, put them in a Crusader, land a Crusader, yep. and go ahead and charge something. But that is... 250 points. Plus the 15... Uh, plus the extra 15. So that's uh, 90, 180, 270 points. Right so you're paying over, over 500, 500 points for something that... It's probably not going to last no. more than a round or two. No, no. Yeah, like they got to come in like a wrecking ball. They got to wreck a unit, get that three up on vulnerable save. Yeah. Then maybe you got a unit that can work with there. But because you need to take out that initial unit, at least with the full grinds, you need to take out that initial unit. That's it's a hard sell. It really is. All I keep coming down to is if they were if they were ten points, nobody would say, "Oh, they're so cheap." No. They're people, amazing. I need 30 of people them. People will probably still be going, ah, there's better options that I'd rather spend points on. Yeah. But it Absolutely. wouldn't be so glaringly bad. And I think that's the big problem. Like these, when you look at a book... It's going to stop games working out from selling some of these models, I believe. Yeah. Because if, if they were even remotely... Sorry, if they were closer to what I think... And this is just opinion. If they were closer to what I think their point cost would be, I would run them in squads of 20. I would buy four boxes. Because they're feasible. For one squad. Yeah. They're feasible. Whereas if you want to run them in a full squad right now... It's the co that's that's going to take up a, a, a fifth of your army. Now, if you want a really cheap, money-wise army... There you go. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to have much fun on the table, but... Uh, so it, it's, it's really unfortunate. So... You know what? I'll I'll tinker around with them. I'll I'm try. Gonna, I'm gonna really try. Them. Uh, but I don't see this ending well. Yeah. I, I really don't. Uh, and it's unfortunate. Yeah. I love yeah. the models. They're great models. Easy to put together. All that means is we we one day, years from now, next book, they'll be okay. No, next book they're going to be amazing. They're going to get the tomb blade yeah. treatment. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're all going to fire D strength large templates out of their hands and for forty eight inches. <laughs> and they're going to be nine <laughs> points. <laughs> Uh, so th that's that's the Electro Priest for you. Um, and the thing is, I wouldn't care so much if the malls weren't really nice. And like, if they were saying, okay, whatever, I don't really care how they look, <laughs> then we can move on, no big deal. But I want to want, I want to, yes. I want to love them. I want no, to love them. I, I agree with you completely. I, I, I just flipped the page over and I saw the picture of them again. I'm like, man, such a good skull. <laughs> they, they look like Electro meets Dr. Manhattan. It's a little, it's a little like yeah. that. Yeah. So, again, it's it's really unfortunate, but for now, unless we see something really stellar with the formations or we see an update or something like that, I, I really I really think they're going to be relegated to the shelf. The shelf, exactly, the shelf. And that's that's always unfortunate for a great-looking model. Yeah. But that is the Electro Priests. So, as always, hopefully you enjoyed uh, the viewpoint and discussion here on the review. We're going to have the second paired video, which is going to be the Castellan Robots in the link below. Robots. Now, <laughs> robots. So that is going to be a Vault video. So if you're a Vault member, go ahead and click the link. It's going to take you right to it. If you're not a Vault member, you can still go ahead and click that link. It's going to take you to a page where you can opt into a free trial. And it's going to be a seven-day free trial. And it's going to give you access to absolutely everything we have on 
uh, on the Mini War Gaming Vault. Binge say. watch it all. Yeah, binge watch it all. I, I think Matt actually did some numbers, and there's not enough time in the week to watch everything on there. Nice. So it just goes to show how, and I think he was factoring like 10 videos at a time. And it's still only like yeah, a, no, there's a, there's a, a lot fresh. on there. Actually. There's yeah. a lot of content, so it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, but highlights, I mean, you're going to get all the paired missions for any of our campaigns, Warzone Apophis. Uh, you're going to get painting quick tips and tutorials. A lot of stuff from Chris that people always get to see. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot a, of painting stuff. There's a lot of content back there. So check it out. It's definitely worth. It's worth giving a look. Yeah. At the very least, uh, and it's a no. It's a no holds bar trial. So if at the end of the seven days you decide not for you, check it you, out. Yeah, that, that's that's fine. You can you can go on your own way and whatnot. And uh, I believe you can cancel cool. after thirty days. I believe, right? Yeah, you still get your thirty days for the for the refund, even if it goes through. If you get charged. Uh, but here's the thing: it's a no pressure thing. If you want to check it out, definitely do so. It's great content. Uh, but aside from that, as always, happy wargaming.